Are you worried about your high cholesterol? Hirap na hirap ka na bang i-manage at pababain ang cholesterol mo? Or ikaw ba isang tao na ayaw mo magkaroon or ma-diagnose na may mataas na cholesterol? Napakaswerte mo ngayong araw na ito ko sa video na to. I'll exactly show you and tell you what you can do para ma-manage mo ng maayos yung high cholesterol mo. Watch until the end of this video. Alright, so welcome back mga kwentuhan. So nandito na naman tayo sa isang episode on how uh, you can be healthy and fit. Alright, so if this is your first time in this channel, so please make sure to click on that subscribe button and hit that bell as well for you to be notified of all my videos uh, that is related to fitness and health. Alright, so yan, so usapang uh, cholesterol tayo. So ano nga ba ang cholesterol? Masama ba talaga ito o uh, meron din ba siyang naidudulot na kabutihan sa katawan natin? No? So yun yung i-discuss ko sa inyo ngayong araw na ito, mga kakwentuhan. Alright, so yung cholesterol is a substance or chemical that can be found sa mga cells natin. And um, yung katawan natin, kailangan din itong cholesterol dahil um, naka-attach ito sa mga cells which is needed by our body to create hormones and vitamin D also and it helps as well in uh, digesting yung mga pagkain natin no? so uh, that's why may, ma may mabuting uh, na itutulong din naman yung cholesterol hindi lang talaga siya totally masama but too much of cholesterol that's when it starts to become harmful sa katawan natin right? which can uh, cause um, heart diseases. So, if you will not be able to manage it properly. So, here, I will share with you in this video on how you should be able to ba balance it and manage it naturally without even the use of any um, medicine. Okay? So, natural ways tayo ng pag, uh, pagbabalance ng um, cholesterol. Uh, just a precautionary measure, uh, measure if you are already in um, nagme-medicate na kayo or mer meron na kayo maintaining uh, na gamot and uh, na-diagnose na kayo na merong high cholesterol uh, I recommend that you seek uh, professional advice first before you try to do this natural ways or kung enough na bang gawin lang yung natural ways even without taking the uh, medication na pinrescribe sa inyo ng mga doctor so Again, uh, please make sure to seek professional advice before you start doing these natural ways on how you will be able to balance and manage your cholesterol level to normal. Okay? So first, uh, let's understand yung, um, yung relationship between fats and cholesterol. And uh, ano ba itong fats and cholesterol? Ano bang naitutulong ito sa katawan? No? So, um, fats in itself... Meron dalawa klase, saturated and unsaturated fats, no? So yung yung saturated fats, these are the type of fats that increase the level of your cholesterol. While on the other hand, yung unsaturated fats naman, it helps in bringing down the level of your cholesterol um, to its normal level. So these are the two types of fats. So understanding the two types of fats, so Ano sa tingin yung dapat yung i-take? So definitely, ang dapat yung i-take would be yung uh, unsaturated fats. Kung ang cholesterol level nyo, it's already above normal. Right? So, um, I want you to click on that link above as well because I have already discussed in my previous video um, different types of um, fats. So if you wanted to know details about it, I, I recommend to click that link above and I will also put it in the description box below. Alright? So, ano nga ba ang mga types ng saturated fats? So, usually, yung mga saturated fats, you can find that in um, yung high fatty cuts ng mga pork, um, chicken, and um, beef. You can also include lamb. So, any uh, part of the chicken that has high in fatty parts is has high saturated fats. Ano pa ba? Mga high fat dairy products. Um dark chicken meat no so i'll put in the description box below complete list of saturated fats all right unsaturated fats naman so ano ba yung mga unsaturated fats so something that you need to know also there are two types of unsaturated fats no yung um mono unsaturated fats and um 
polyunsaturated fats. Uh, ano nga ba yung mga example ng uh, foods that are high in unsaturated fats? Um, simple lang to. So, ito yung mga uh, fish that has high fats like um, salmon, mackerel. You can also find unsaturated fats from uh, avocados, olives, and olive oil. Um, some nuts, peanuts, or peanut butter. Yan, matataas ang mga unsaturated fats, right? So, I'll put in the description box below also a complete list ng unsaturated fats. Alright? So, uh, let's go now with uh, natural ways that you can do for you to naturally bring down your cholesterol level to its normal level. Alright? I'll give you five ways on how you can bring down your cholesterol level naturally. Alright? So, ito yung um, number one. Kanina earlier, we discussed yung difference between saturated fats and unsaturated fats. So, syempre, uh, you put that into consideration. Syempre, it would be easier. Uh, one first thing that you need to do is replace uh, yung consumption mo ng uh, type of fat. So, instead of you cons consuming a lot of uh, saturated fats, replace your diet with natural foods that has high in unsaturated fats. So, yan yan siya. Second, avoid trans fats. No? So, ano ba yung trans fats? Uh, sa, ano, ba yung, sa, ano ba yung mga pagkain na usually makakakuha kayo ng matataas na trans fat? So, one good example of these are um, avoid yung mga processed foods. Yan, matataas na trans fat. Yan, yung pagpa-fry pagpa ng pagkain, anything, any type of food na pipretuhin or ifa-fry, that is usually high in trans fat. So, avoid consumption of trans fats. Number three, reduce total fat intake. No? So, regardless of what type of fat that you will intake, it would be nice and it will be smart actually to reduce your total fat intake. Not only it will help you bring down your cholesterol level, it will also reduce the risk of you having heart diseases. Yeah. So, that's why it's beneficial to just totally reduce yung fat intake mo, no? So, number four recommendation is look for low, uh, look for food that has low in fat. So, anong ibig sabihin yan? So, uh, ideally, um, yung mga pagkain natin, if hindi, hindi nyo talaga ma-avoid yung total na natural foods, uh, then I recommend that before you start buying food in the grocery, usually lahat naman niya mayroong mga nutritional facts, no? So, I recommend that you try to read the nutritional facts usually behind yung nasa, nasa likod ng packaging and from there you will be able to have knowledge informed decision on the type of food that you will purchase that has low in fats also you may want to um, li limit or bring down yung portion sizes ng mga pagkain intake nyo no? so that's number 4 uh, number 5 increase fiber intake no? bakit? because yung fiber it helps or it aids in reducing your cholesterol level to its normal um, limits. No? So, fiber intake or fiber um, foods uh, is definitely helpful for you if mataas yung cholesterol level mo. So, ano ba yung usual pagkain na matataas sa, 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 sa fiber? So, example niya would be fruits, uh, bran, um, usually, ano ba yung brand? So, usually yung mga brown rice, red rice, yan yan siya, mata sa fiber yan. Ito yung uh, hindi pa totally na, nagigiling. So, meron pang color yung brand na tinatawag. Um, Siyempre, of course, yung green leafy vegetables that is also high in fiber. So, I recommend start your intake of fiber foods. no? So, number six, syempre ito, hindi mawawala ito. And this is something that is really uh, helpful 100% of the time is you may want to increase your activity level. So, you may want to include exercise on your daily activity, right? So, hindi naman yan siya necessarily kailangan everyday kayo mag exercise Usually, two or three times uh, a week of exercise is helpful already versus no exercise at all. Alright? So, yan mga kakwentuhan. So, I hope I was able to uh, give you tips on how uh, you should be able to bring down your cholesterol level in a natural way and um, just tip that can help you as well in helping you uh, bring down your cholesterol levels additional additional to mga kwentuhan ha wala sa wala to sa plano so sabi ko ano lang um, six tips lang so this additional so 
So yeah, so it will also be uh, beneficial if you change the way you cook your food, no? So usually lalo na sa Pilipinas, ang style ng pagluluto natin karamihan uh, prito, no? So instead of you um, frying, roasting, uh, you may want to change how you cook your food. So ideally it would be better and it would be helpful if you cook your food by the means of steam, boiling, um, grilling. So yan siya. So yan yung mga style ng pagluluto that will usually be beneficial and helpful in your overall health. Alright? So um, mga kayo kwentuhan, so kung meron kayo natutunan, uh, please help me share this to your friend and family so that may palawak natin yung knowledge on how to become healthy and fit naturally. Alright? So um, again, click that share button and don't forget to hit that like button as well. Alright? Thank you mga kwentuhan sa panonood. See you again tomorrow.